Hey everyone, it's Karen V from Blues to Hues and I'm super excited to be doing this video because it really came about very organically. If you watched my last video, it was my vanity transformation video. So here I am in front of my new vanity and I'm loving it. It's my little makeup space. It's just what I wanted. I've wanted it for so long. I figured, you know, you guys would probably want to see the insides of the drawers and see how I organized it. So I recorded, you know, each drawer and then I'm like, this, this does not look good. Like who would want to see this? <laughs> so that led me to going to Amazon and I was looking for like those acrylic drawer organizers for makeup, you know, that we all see all over the place. So I'm looking, I'm looking and I'm like, they're kind of pricey and I don't know, just something made me want to keep looking. And eventually I did stumble upon a company called Polar Whale and they have drawer organizers that are meant to fit specifically for the Alex drawers but they're a little different because they are made of foam. They're not made of that acrylic. So I like that idea because, you know, your your makeup products won't really like clash around and like, you know, they could break. So I liked that they were foam and then there's also like individual slots for your makeup. So I was just very intrigued by this product. So I decided to contact the company and we decided to collaborate on this video. So I am super, super excited to be doing this sponsored video by Polar Whale. I hope you guys enjoy. And what I'll be doing now is unboxing because I don't know what they sent me. <laughs> they sent me a few things. I don't know which items. I know one of them for sure that they sent me because I told them that was the one I was interested in, but there's a couple other things in here. So I'm very excited to crack it open and start organizing. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you are interested in seeing the before and after of my drawers using these new drawer organizers, please keep watching. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I'm pulling out is a mini organizer. All right, so clearly this is where you can fit compacts, any powder products, blushes, stuff like that. Here, um, I'm not sure what I would put here, maybe some foundations, like anything that really fits. It's gonna take trial and error to figure out how I wanna organize this, so. But this is super cute and it's very lightweight, but it's firm, it's sturdy, like, it'll hold up. So this is cool. This is very cool. Let's see what's next. So here's the second one. And this is so perfect too, because I know I can fill this, <laughs> especially with my crazy highlighter collection. So this is great. I'm very excited for this one. So this was not the one that I actually saw online. So I'm hoping that the next one is. Okay, it is. <laughs> okay, so this is what caught my eye on Amazon. I'm going to hold it in front of my face so you guys can really get a good look at it. Okay. So what caught my eye about this is they showed it filled with makeup. So this was for lipsticks, this was for compacts, this is for foundations, and this is actually for nail polish. I'm not a big person that does her own nails. Um, I actually just got them done recently at the salon, but I do have a nail polish collection and I do sort of want to start working on my nails myself a little more these days and I've been dabbling in doing that. So that's cool with me, but you know what? Even if I don't put nail polishes in there, I could probably find a different use for it. So yeah, this is what caught my eye. So I'm so excited for this. There are a few other items. Oh, oh, I thought these were, <laughs> I thought this was like four different slabs of foam, but it's one. Okay, this is super cute. This is really cute. So maybe these little holes are for eyeliners. I'm not really sure. So I think this is meant for like the desktop. So I think this would be cute for, um, you know, stuff that you're maybe using every single day or like, I like to change my makeup up weekly. So you could put like a lot of your stuff that you're using for the week on here and just leave it out on your, on your desk or on your vanity. So that is so cute. So, okay, I gotta get to organizing. I am beyond excited to organize all my makeup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you guys what my drawers look like now, <laughs> what my makeup drawers look like now. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will show you how I set things up with these new organizers. So I'm basically just working with this side of my makeup desk. Um, this is the makeup side. My other drawers on the other side are skincare. So I'm going to tackle that at a later date. I'm just working with my makeup right now. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so here is my top drawer. And as you can see, there is nothing impressive about this. This is my, my little girl when she was 
I don't know, one or two, something like that. So anyway, I have a little like sample perfumes in here and stuff, but it's just some powders. And then back here, I have some old Ipsy bags. So this one I use for all my brow products. This one I use for eyeliners. This one I think is for a different set of eyeliners that I have. This is for lip liners. These are some makeup brush cleaning mats over here. And this is my drying rack that um, I love so much that I also got off Amazon. So that is this drawer, and like, it's just not visually appealing to me. I'm not, you know, it's not the worst. I mean, it is organized in a way, but it's just, it's all right, you know. Here's my second drawer. Okay, don't be alarmed by the lipsticks, okay? <laughs> this is my lipstick drawer. I have these little um, plastic acrylic lipstick organizers that I think I got from like Dollar Tree or some cheapo stores. I try to categorize these by brand. Um, but that's it. You know, it's not the worst, but again, I'm not like loving it. Here are all my foundations. <laughs> Some of them are old. I really want to, uh, this year I'm working on using up a lot of makeup. I'm really not wanting to accumulate much more. There's a couple things here and there I want to try, but nothing crazy. So, and I, I must have some brushes in here too. So, um, in the back I've got concealers and some correctors and that's pretty much it. Okay, so these two drawers, these looked worse and they are a bit organized right now because I stole my kitchen organizers. <laughs> Before I found the Polar Whale organizers, I literally emptied out the two drawers in my kitchen that were holding utensils and I stole them for my makeup. So this one I used, this is just three sections for brushes and I will probably leave that like that, you know, because actually I'm liking not having the organizers in the kitchen anymore, it's fine. And then this was the other one. So it's an identical organizer for highlighters, but I think I may be changing this around. This is my highlighter drawer. So I do have a lot of highlighters and lipsticks. Um, I have a lot of makeup from Christmas. Every year I get to request whatever the heck I want from my oh so lovely mother-in-law. And so I do request a lot of nice stuff that I wouldn't typically buy myself. And then, you know, but when I buy myself things, I do air on the uh, more affordable side and then I did used to belong to a few subscription boxes so that is why I do have quite the collection so yeah so that's what the makeup drawers look like and then over here on the top of my desk um makeup brushes I, I gotta I gotta do a video on those because I love them but here is more makeup so I've got my bronzers blushes mascaras oops single eyeshadows I don't even know oh ColourPop single eyeshadows what else do we have uh, more lipsticks these are lipsticks where I only have one from the brand you know like so that's that's how I organize that and then here are my liquid eyeshadows that are all like glittery for the most part so I'm thinking maybe some of those may make their way into the drawers so oh and over here is my lip gloss collection yep drawer full of lip glosses three drawers full of lip glosses so there you have it and here's all my setting sprays um, and a couple other things just kind of thrown in there because I don't know where else to put them I just spent about an hour organizing the makeup drawers and it was difficult, <laughs> but I got it done because I just didn't know how I wanted things to be set up, you know? Um, and I was trying to find products that fit in the right slots. So I think that I'm super happy that I got to try these products. I have everything organized. Everything looks really good. What I like about these organizers is like I said before, they're made of foam. So things are not clashing around. I like that. And everything is sitting very snugly into each slot. So I like that. And I can see everything. I can, I can see things like especially foundations. I can never like see the foundations, but the way they're kind of like laying back at an angle, I can see what I'm looking for. Um, they do have other organizers on Amazon that 
I'm pretty interested in. Um, maybe some would work better for me. I'm not sure. I feel like this sort of thing takes a lot of thought to figure out how you want to situate things. So what I actually want to do is I'm going to put up some, some pictures now of all the other makeup organizers that I think could possibly work for me because I think I want to fill my drawers with more of these puppies. <laughs> also has other organizers that are not necessarily for makeup. So I will put some photos up of those as well in case you are interested in other types of organizers. Like I know a lot of these can work for like kitchens also, like they have kitchen organizers as well. So um, yeah, I just want you guys to see what else they carry so that you can get a good idea of, you know, what this company has to offer. And I believe that they will be coming out with a lot more products in the near future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and perhaps it encourages you to organize your makeup as well. <laughs> I will have links to everything down in the description box. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you think you'd like to see more videos from me, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.